Hi, I'm Adam Teeter, co-founder and CEO of VinePair. I'm Joanna Sherino, editor-in-chief of VinePair. I am David Rodriguez, the general director of Tequila Patron and also the master distiller. Welcome to the Hacienda Patron. We are here in Jalisco, Mexico to get an inside look at how Patron makes its super premium tequilas. You can see our process, how we work with our family, the traditional way to transport the agave into our tequila Patron and enjoy in a special cocktail for you. Join us as we learn how Patron tequila gets from the field to your glass. We're surrounded by beautiful agave. Right now, we have 7 million and 500,000 plants. That makes a lot of tequila. A lot of tequila. <laughs> yes, a lot. <laughs> oh my god, this is so heavy. This is so heavy. My name is Fernando Plasencia. I'm the second generation of the agaveros from Familia Plasencia. We are here in San Ramon Ranch. My father started this business 40 years ago. How long have you been growing agave for Patron? Since 15 years ago. And all of your crops to yes. Patron? Yes, 100%. All the agave is for Patron. How many plants? Right now, 7 million and 500,000 plants. That makes a lot of tequila. <laughs> That's a lot of tequila. Yes, a lot. <laughs> We're in the highlands of Jalisco, surrounded by beautiful agave. What makes growing agave in the highlands so special? The field has iron oxide. This is what the agave needs to have more uh, sugar. The sugar makes alcohol and then tequila. The, the valley, maybe the sugar you can find there around 20%. Maybe here you can find 30% or 35%. Wow, so much more sugar. sugar here. A lot. Wow. So while the agave is in the ground still, do you use any tools to test like bricks and things like yes. that? The people of Patron comes here to the field. They check the sugar. If the plant doesn't pass the sugar that they need, they say wait two or three months more and then harvest. So one thing that really makes Patron unique is that they don't rush the process at all. Yes. Right? Can you take us through from planting to harvesting to planting again the process? Well, the agave start uh, from the mother three years from the mother. It's called the hijuelo. So the hijuelo, it's literally a growth that comes from... Yes. Little tiny. Yeah, from the roof, mm -hmm. there comes the hijuelos. Every wow. plant maybe has per year uh, around four and five uh, hijuelos. Then we cut it, we select the better agaves, and then we plant it in our fields for around five to six years. You do the, the math, nine years to have uh, ready the, the, the agave. How do you know when the agave is ready? One way is the quiote is, is coming from the center. And if you leave it, yeah, the quiote is going to be amazing, three, four or five meters. But the piña is going to be a small one. The quiote is going to eat, eat, eat the piña. Ah. So you need to cut it. And then in the next six or seven months, the agave is going to grow up. So the agave is almost food for the, for yes. the piña. Yes. So just like in, in when we're making wine, yes. we're, we're stressing the plant uh -huh. a little bit so that it makes the best agave. Yes, it's like a competition for the plant. Yeah. And That's the other cool. way is in the middle of the plant is called cogollo. The cogollo goes down and the leaves go up of the, of the cogollo. Now you can see that the plant is almost ready. The one that is made the hima is called himador. The name of the tool is koa. So it kind of just pulled out. Now it's a little bit easier because the roof is up the, the soil. Every piña that make the jima, they shape it like a style patron, very near to the, to the heart. Those red spots, they're representing the mature of the plant. Patron only permits 10% of the plant because the red spots maybe can change the flavor of the tequila. Almost ready. This is going to be a, a piña, like a 25 or 30 kilos. This is one of the little babies. I'm going to see if I can pick it up. All right, lift the lips. Oh, my God. This is, this is so heavy. Thanks for joining us at the Agave Fields. Now we're going to take this back to Hacienda Patron, and we're going to turn it into tequila. <laughs>